Hey guys, this is Dr. Israel with Integrative Kidney Solutions and today I'm going to be talking to you about the use of ACE inhibitors and ARBs in advanced kidney disease. Uh, I was asked about this uh, by a colleague, so I'm going to be uh, brief in this video and tell you that you should uh, try to use those medications as much as possible. The, the research is... Um, you know there's so much research about this um, that we don't really, really need to debate it but the question comes is that should you discontinue uh, ACE or ARBs um, when uh, the patient has advanced kidney disease um, or had like a drop in kidney function first of all I want to assure you that you should be using them in patients who are on dialysis with the SRD who are on dialysis there's no worry about the potassium uh, or kidney function anymore that uh, they will be beneficial for their uh, cardiac uh, uh, morbidity and mortality so we definitely want to see them in ESRD patient uh, so let's talk about using them in advanced kidney disease patient the main issue that happens is that we see that there's a drop in kidney function after uh, we start those medications so uh, definitely that is a beneficial thing to happen. We expect that creatinine may rise by 20 to 30 percent, uh, a drop of, in GFR by about 5 percent, uh, by 5 ml per minute. Uh, we we want to see that the, the, the rise or the drop, the rise in creatinine or the drop in, in GFR stabilize. So we don't want to continue to see uh, a continuous drop in uh, GFR because that is not good. Um, the, the main reason why this happens is that because the uh, ACE inhibitors or ARBs dilate the efferent arterioles in uh, the glomeruli. So that leads to decrease in intraglomerular pressure. So that's an uh, expected and beneficial effect uh, on the kidneys in the long term. But when you have fixed perfusion to the glomeruli, such as uh, an example when you have a renal artery stenosis or a patient is on NSAIDs, for example, the decrease can be so dramatic that uh, can lead to acute, acute kidney injury, for example. Uh, so we really want to make sure that uh, we, when we put someone on uh, ARBs or we adjust their dose, especially in advanced kidney disease, we check for their kidney function uh, in a week. Uh, we also check for potassium in a week. Uh, at a potassium level of uh, elevated potassium level of less than 5.5 uh, should not worry you. Uh, yeah, just make sure that the patient does not take uh, additional uh, medication that cause uh, hyperkalemia. Um, the, the other thing that you should uh, worry about, uh, like I mentioned, is making sure that you do not combine uh, ACE uh, or ARBs with uh, NSAIDs for sure. Uh, when you use diuretics for these patients, also that can increase the risk for acute kidney injury. I always tell my patients that they should be careful when uh, they're at risk for dehydration, when they start having nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, or flu-like symptoms. They need to talk to us or uh, may consider uh, stopping or decreasing their medications. Don't uh, forget that those medications are also associated with many mineral deficiencies including uh, zinc deficiency so uh, your patient who is on ACE inhibitor or ARB should be checked for these. For more information please subscribe to our newsletter at www.inkidney.com uh, make sure if you like this video to press the like button below and subscribe to our channel because this way we can tell YouTube that we are worthy of watching.